Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm creating my October 2023 color palette challenge mini for you. I'll post the picture up here in the corner for you so you can see what the picture was for the inspiration. And to do this mani, I'm using colors from 915 Aesthetics and their October 2023 subscription box. So I'm going in with this first color, which is a gorgeous purple called Toil and Trouble. And I'm applying this to my index finger and I'll also be applying it to my ring finger. I kind of sped up this for you, but I'm going to talk through it a little bit. This color does glow, which I will get on the end pictures for you so you can see how that glows. And I will also be adding a little design to the ring finger. I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet. You'll have to wait until that point in the video. Um, but if you can guess what it is from the picture that I just posted of the color palette challenge inspiration, then that's awesome. Um, but it does have to do with that picture. So you'll see that soon. It's not, it's cute. It's not like scary Halloween or anything because the picture is cute. So <laughs> don't worry about that. So this is now my second coverage of Toil and Trouble. I'm just cleaning up my cuticle lines here. And then I kind of go back and realize that there was a little bit of the powder that hadn't absorbed in yet. So you'll see that in a second. Just getting my ring finger done. And as always, 915 Aesthetics dips and liquids are amazing. Um, if you're a former fan of Cascade Colorworks, I highly suggest you check out 915 because uh, one of the co-owners, Rachel, opened up 915 Aesthetics. Uh, she used to own Cascade Colorworks. So the quality is amazing. If you're used to that quality, you will love the quality of these dips if you haven't tried it yet. So now I'm going in with Cauldron, which is a black shimmer color on my thumb and my pinky. And for this, I actually end up pouring over for the first application just because I didn't want to stain my finger with the black. But you'll see here, I end up actually dipping into my dip cup there for the second application and there was no staining at all, which is amazing. And I remember that from Cascade because um, I still use Onyx, which is the solid black that Rachel had under Cascade Colorworks and there was no staining on that either, which is amazing. Now I'm just going in and activating my two purple fingers so I don't get anything contaminated there, especially that ring finger since that's where I'm doing my design. And I'm just brushing off cauldron and doing another application. But this covered so, so nicely for the quality is amazing. For the thumb, I actually poured over. I apologize. I thought I went, you know, upside down into the dip cup, but I, I believe I do that for the pinky. <laughs> Sometimes I just get in a groove with the video and I don't really realize what I'm doing. And then I'm just here talking through it for you guys. Nope. Light again. There we go. Poured it over. <laughs> At some point, I know I dip it in. I think it's just to soak up a little more of that powder. Yep. Here we go. I knew I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> Just clean up those cuticle lines, and you'll see how easy that cleans up. There was nothing there. My next step now is to go in with more activator for my thumb and my pinky because the middle finger is going to be that Hocus Pocus chunky glitter that came in the subscription box. And I just thought this was so much fun. It's purples, silvers, blacks, mainly chunky glitters, some fine glitter. And I'm just applying this to my middle finger. I end up kind of going detailed here and I show a lot on camera for this nail. So I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this application and then I'll be back for the look um, of everything before I do my filing and my buffing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, here we are all filed and buffed and ready for some nail art. So I am taking these Artistro Fine Tip Acrylic Paint Pens and I'm going to draw a little half pumpkin on my ring finger in the corner. So to do this, I start by making sure the pen is nice and ready to go. And I kind of make like the top of a heart. Um, so just like, you know, the bump of the heart without obviously doing the whole thing. And this kind of creates that top of a pumpkin shape. And then with the marker, I just fill in the rest of what would be the pumpkin that's peeking out there. Now you might have to go back in and do this a couple of times to make sure it's all covered up. I actually ended up doing this three times total, but I did the other two off camera. And you do wanna make sure that everything is dry before you go in with the next layer because it will start to rub away at that paint. But this does dry fairly fast, which is awesome. So I will link these paint pens down below because I've used them um, I used them for another video that I ended up not posting, but they did work out really well. But this is like my first video using them. So I will link those down below from Amazon. I think they were like maybe $10 if I had to guess or between 10 and 15. So now my next step is going in with another paint pen. This one is silver and I'm going to go ahead and outline that portion that I just did with the white. Again, making sure that the white is completely dry before you do this because you don't want to run that silver into the white if it's not dry. And it's kind of faint to see at first, but then when I go in with more detail, you can kind of see how the outline came out. And now I'm just making those kind of like pumpkin lines with the marker. So I go down from one diagonal to the next and then cross it the other way. And then I go from that point again and go out and do another line. And then on the other side, I do another line as well. So this kind of creates those ridges in the pumpkin. And the reason why I decided to do white for the pumpkin was because I just love the look of a white pumpkin. And there was white in that color palette that I wanted to pick up. As well as I did the silver because I thought it went well with the glitter and the purple and the black. So I'm just kind of refining my lines here making sure everything is nice and visible. And I did not go back over the silver lines. These stayed the way they were, which was really nice. And now for my next step, I'm taking a green acrylic paint pen, also from that same Artistro set, and I'm creating a little stem here. So I'm just kind of going up from that middle part of the top of the pumpkin, creating a little stem, and then I kind of do like a little twirl out from the pumpkin to make like a little vine coming out and that is my little pumpkin design so now that it's all dried and ready to go you can go ahead with whatever top coat you prefer I'm going in with 915 aesthetics and this is my first application and then I go back in off camera and I do the second application so just three quick stripes swipes not stripes on each nail and I kind of work everything, you know, my thumb, pointer. I leave the painted finger for last, which you'll see here in a moment. Doing that glitter nail. And then I go back in and do my pinky, which only really takes two swipes because my pinky nail is narrow. <laughs> and now I go ahead and I do the nail with the pumpkin on it. And then I let that dry for like another 10 seconds and then I can go back in and do my second coat. And that's how we're looking after the first coat. All right, here everything is all top coated and nice and shiny. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my marshmallow pumpkin cuticle oil from Oil Oasis and get that all nice and hydrated up. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you learned something from it. If you did enjoy it and you haven't subscribed, subscribed already, I would really appreciate it. And also if you would give me a thumbs up, it's free, it costs nothing, <laughs> and it helps me grow my channel. I really love the smell of this oil. I've used it on other videos as well and it just smells amazing.
And if you would like to join the color palette challenge for November, I will post the link to the Facebook group down below and you can join and see what that palette is. And if it's something you like, you can go ahead and do it too. Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Thank you.